are G. Harrison's first word says about Harry and Meghan's parenting. Meghan and Prince Harry's explosive Oprah Winfrey interview has been all anyone has been talking about for the past week. Aside from the royal bombshell claims, the in-depth chat saw the Duke and Duchess of Sussex open up about life in Los Angeles with their young son Archie Harrison. One of the most memorable comments from the interview was the revelation that Archie's first word was crocodile. It seems the 22-month-old tot is very advanced for his age. From his impressive vocabulary to requesting waffles for breakfast and looking after chickens in the garden of their Montecito home. Parent coach and early years expert Sophie Pickles spoke to about the significance of Archie's first word. Explaining that the interview subtly revealed a lot about the royal couple's parenting style and the aspects of childhood and education they value. She said, the fact that Archie's first word was such a complex one, quite literally speaks volumes. While it is unusual for a child's first word to have three syllables, it isn't unheard of. The complexity of a child's vocabulary at such a young age is largely based upon two things. The child's innate linguistic ability and the environment in which they are being raised. The fact that Harry and Meghan are clearly so proud of Archie's vocabulary leads me to believe that they promote language development a lot at home. Reading stories, poetry, singing songs and favoring adult phrases above baby talk are all clearly present in the home of the Sussex family. It's clear to see that Harry and Meghan are devoted parents and have spent Archie's formative months focused on his development. Particularly since he hasn't been able to mix with other children his age due to the global pandemic. Sarah believes Archie has been mimicking the language of those around him, particularly in the use of the phrases drive safe and hydrate, with Meghan and Harry sharing their delight at his recently adopted catchphrases. This could be when Harry and Meghan are in direct contact with Archie and speaking one-on-one -on -one to him or equally when they are having conversations with each other, she explained. Our little ones are always listening even from newborns, they are absorbing the language around them. Making sense of it and then, when they feel the time is right, experimenting with repeating it themselves. One of my oldest son's first words was purple. Unusual maybe, but it wasn't a word that we pushed on him. He heard it used in our daily conversation and obviously liked the way it sounded just as Archie enjoys saying crocodile. How sweet. Prince Harry and Meghan tied the knot with the world watching back in 2018, and their royal wedding was full of traditions. The custom of something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue was an age-old convention. That Meghan was eager to stick to, deciding to have three something blue charms on her wedding day. According to folklore, the notion behind having blue items incorporated into your wedding is to ward off evil. And Meghan had for different blue symbols on her big day. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped out for their wedding reception, wearing glamorous outfits that wouldn't look out of place in a Bond film, Meghan was also sporting a huge aquamarine ring. This precious piece of jewellery, in its piercing blue shade, originally belonged to Prince Harry's mother Princess Diana, and she first wore it in 1997. Eagle-eyed fans may have also spotted that the soles of Meghan's shoes for her Frogmore House reception were another blue addition. The Aquas Euro pointed court heels had a baby blue pop of color on the bottom of them. One of the couple's biggest something blue charms came in the form of a £350,000 car the Jaguar type. That Prince Harry drove to escort them from Windsor Castle to their wedding party. The convertible was a real statement and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also had a blue car for their 2011 nuptials. There was one last nod to the superstition, which you definitely wouldn't have seen on the day. As it was hidden in the bride's dress, <laughs> while speaking in ITV's Queen of the World. Meghan confessed that she also had a secret charm sewn into her iconic gown. The piece of blue fabric that's stitched inside? It was my something blue. It's fabric from the dress that I wore on our first date, she revealed. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.